Hey there, guys. Go on here. That sure was a close call and was getting absorbed by that sludge villain. I ought to be more careful around this city. Good thing that hero guy came just in time when I couldn't risk using my full power. I should also think that green-haired kid for at least going out of his way to give me a hand. I bet I'll probably get to see them both again at UA High's entrance exam. Looks like I have these heroes a little taste of Super Saiyan power in... Part 2! Warriors Unite! One hero, one Saiyan, and one for all! Our story continues. After the city's local news team and the public started to calm down about the recent villain attack on the town, it was safe to say that more heroes would be on the lookout for any signs of more villains just lurking about on the premises. It sure must be nice to be getting all that praise. Be appreciated for your efforts, and reassuring everyone that they are in safe hands. Instead of being scolded and having them tell you off like just another kid, who was only in over his head thinking he had what it took to become a hero. Izuku Midoriya, a once an excitable young lad with a dream to finally join in the ranks of heroes, was now turning face into just another head in the crowd, where he couldn't cause any more harm than he already had with All Might. If only he hadn't distracted him with that dumb question, the Sludge Monster wouldn't have been a problem. I mean, what was the point anyway? He had no quirk, and he certainly was no hero. Well, time to give up on my dreams. Hey, wait! Midori looks behind him. It was that other kid from earlier. Wait a minute. Wasn't he blonde before? <laughs> Mr. Sane was right about the fans. You would not believe the paparazzi I had to charge through just to find you out here. Yeah, I could only imagine. So, uh, how are you holding up? A lot better now, all thanks to you. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten in the way. No, I'm serious. I almost feel like my life flashed before my eyes. If you hadn't come in at the last second to buy a hero guy some time. Oh, and I didn't really get your name, by the way. Gohan extends out his hand to the other boy. I'm Son Gohan. My name is Izuku Midoriya. But my friends call me... Deku! Their brief friendly encounter was soon cut off short by a very particular hothead, who Gohan was all too familiar with as well. Your friend? And I always regret the day we met... Ah! Bakugo grabs Midori by the hair and brings him up onto his eye level, about a foot off the ground, as he shoots him another one of his death stairs. Just where do you get up at throwing yourself into danger like that? Huh? Thinking you could outstage me? Even while Quirk trying to step in my leg! Thanks for your concern. By the way, he did upstage you. They have to use your powers to run away like a sissy. Yeah, he's way out of your league. What? Bakugo found himself frozen in quite the stupor, not even realizing he dropped Midoriya. <laughs> Hearing this from someone else and the fact that it was actually someone a lot younger than he was nonetheless really added fuel to the fire. His fire. It was everything Bakugo had feared. And more so did Midoriya. Bakugo had been issued a challenge. That's it, Pip Squeak! I'll kill you! Wait, Kachan! We're not worth ruining your reputation. Remember everything you've worked for up to this point? If we fight now, none of you will be getting into UA High. <sighs> this was enough to at least get Gohan and Bakugo to lower her fist. I mean, this will probably be the last time you'll see us, anyways. Huh, it better be. And with that in mind, Bakugo turned his back away from Goldhan and Midoriya, his soon-to-be-destined rivals. This time, now with Goldhan in the mix, Midoriya's position in this new dynamic is, instead of being the lighter side of this relationship to reflect off of Bakugo's darker and more bitter nature, being the one to start the fights, as opposed to Goldhan who only fights but to stop conflict, Midoriya now finds himself stuck as the voice of reason in between their two contrasting motivations. He just wants to avoid conflict altogether. He does not want any part in this. It's a good thing he didn't have a quirk, too. Otherwise, this would be a whole lot worse. I am here. All right, the plot device hero. His quirk, sudden script convenience. Oh yeah, also one for all. He takes note of Midoriya's heroic effort, and then, as expected, he does the whole, Oh no, I didn't do anything. Luckily, Gohan was there to reassure him otherwise and prep him up for what All Might is about to tell him next. Before he does so, All Might shrinks back into his fragile state, expected by Midoriya, but this time, taking Gohan by surprise. <coughs> All Might, you're- Washed up. I was only planning to keep this between me and Midoriya. So just don't say anything about this, and in return, I'll promise to keep yours secret. Secret? I've noticed that there's- Something about your ability that seems different from everyone else's quirks. I can tell, you're not really from around here, are you? Whoa, you can sense my energy? How do you know all about this All Might? This is just one of the many secrets of One for All. One for all? As you can imagine, like the original, 
Midoriya gets chosen to receive one for all from All Might. Though, if it were to be passed down to Gohan, his half-sane body would already be fit enough to handle the rising pulses from a quirk, which could usually shatter a normal human's body if they're not strong enough. Actually, a scene could really benefit from the heavy drawbacks of one for all. It may be self-inflicted, but it's actually from someone else's power that was passed to you. So yes, you can make your own Zenkai boost in this case. Say, the more you use your quirk and your body breaks down, pushing past its limits. Boom, you just made your own self-powering Zenkai boost factory right there. At double the raid. Plus, your body will just keep getting more and more used to quirk, so you don't even need to think about it now. That into itself, however, sounds pretty OP. Which Cell could probably abuse to his advantage. Although, for one for all to work, he needs to be physically given the quirk. However, it is not known if he can still get the quirk through genetic engineering. That's interesting, so leave your answers as part of your comments on whether or not could Cell copy one for all in this case. I'd actually like to know what you guys come up with, but back to the what if. Anyway, All Might gets Midori on the American Dream Plan in order to shape himself up proper. To this, Golhan actually has a better idea in mind. What if they use the hyperbolic time chamber on the lookout? They can whip Midori up into shape in no time. Sounds like it could work, but there's still one important thing. All Might still needs to be there to see Midoriya progress properly for his training to work. If what this kid said was true about one year in the chamber means one day outside, given his current state, now would probably be a good time to say it. He just couldn't risk using the time chamber. He needed to make the last of his days count. I'm not sure how much time I have left. You mean you're... No. Don't let my condition hold you back. Instead, let my weakness be the reason for you to keep pushing forward. Take every loss with pride, and by letting it serve as just another step towards improvement. And that way, you can never lose purpose. And mine is to keep one for all alive, to inspire others to do the same. The has-been hero reaches his fist out to the two boys. So what do you say? How about one for one? And one for all? Yeah, one for all! I said, I can't hear you! One for one! And, and one, one for all. all! With this new motto in mind, the trio felt more than ready to begin the first ten months of training. That's it, put your back into it, boys! And no key control, Gohan, base form only! Oh, man. You gotta lift with your legs, not with your back. Okay, guys, time to cool off with some sensu beans. Hey, I can feel my energy restoring! Say, can I try one? <laughs> Izuku, where have you been going off to lately? And who is this? Oh, just that with my new friend, Gohan! What? Sorry, we hope you don't mind, Miss Midoriya. No, not at all. Izuku's never made a real friend before. I'm so proud of him. Thank you, Gohan. Whoa, Midoriya, your appetite's almost as big as a Saiyan's. More! So, almost anyone can have key? Yeah, at least that's what I've been told. Wait, so if I can control key flowing on the inside of my being as well as everyone else's, then what's the purpose of having different quirks to begin with? Uh, it is a second Midoriya. power. Do we all have a second power? Can we have more? Does hey, you're you kind of freaking me out, buddy. What happens if we get too many? Will our bodies give out from all the exposure? When the moment of truth arrives, Skullhan wakes up to see Midoriya screaming atop his trash pile, cleaning up the entire beach. <laughs> all Might gives him his hairpiece, and they head off to the academy for the entrance exit. Entrance it. Entrance it. Motherfuck! That is really hard to say at the end of a sentence, guys. I am not kidding. This took me like 20 takes just to get it right. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Just before Golhan makes his way into the building, he finds himself soon stopped by Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan? Not so loud, kid. Calm down, you can cause them a commotion. He explains that he must keep a low profile around the city of heroes. Word around the street is that Mr. Satan must have some crazy superpower where the results came back from Golhan's application. Turns out, he did more than just meet qualifications. Had he arrived a lot sooner, the school would have definitely recommended Golhan. But, if anyone caught on that he was stronger than Mr. Satan, and Golhan wasn't actually his student, it could spell trouble for the two of them. So, Gohan can't use too many powerful moves, because then that'll draw too much attention. He'll need techniques that are more versatile than brute force. Maybe there's a certain someone with a third eye who can help with that. 
The entrance exam begins with bot training. Students' points will be counted individually. Golhan Midoriya, that means no teaming up. Students are also not allowed to harm their fellow competitors for more points. Bot go, or that will result in immediate disqualification. Heroes ready? Engage! The exam plays out normally with bot go taking the lead, until Golhan passes him with short burst key attacks for training bot's mainframe, further belittling bot go, much to his growing frustration and much to the Saiyan's delight. While they were busy with that, Midoriya does his thing with a giant robot and gets a hang on one for all. After the simulation ends and they patch up their injuries, Golhan just pops open another sensu and hands one over to Midoriya. So, there's not really any need for recovery, girl. At least not yet. As everyone receives their results on their overall performance on the exam, Midoriya is saved by his rescue points as usual. Even though it was a test and not really a competition, at the very top of the margin and as the overall winner of said event, Bakugo finds that he did make the record, but just only under Golhan, which doesn't flow so well with him. As their already heated rivalry intensifies between them. Looks like Midori wasn't wrong when he said that this would be the last time Makago would ever see them. Because now, this was even made more than just personal. Two bitter rivals destined to fight amongst 21 students. Wait a minute, that can't be right. With Golhan placing on one of the top spots of class, it seems like there's not enough room for 21 students, so... Sad to say it, but we need to let one of the members of Class 1A go. Even though the perfect solution for this is to get rid of dead weights like Mineta or Yuga, we still need our fair share of misfits to keep things... you know... interesting. So, I promise I will choose very carefully for this next part of this one if. But don't worry, I'm sure enough that whichever student that I pick will still show up in the story and contribute just as much as the rest of the class will. And you know, good on him for it too. Real side characters destroy when it comes to good chunks of the story, so who says you need to be a mainstay to be interesting? Everyone hypes practically every second you're on screen, and I think that's what really matters most. Speaking of, are there any more members of a dragon team you'd like to see in this what if? Maybe Krillin gets to do some police work around the school, or maybe Tien or Piccolo could teach us a sub or a class. Mm, how about that? Sorry if this one took longer than expected. I didn't suppose that this would attract as much attention as I, as I first thought it would. But you know, thanks for your continued support, guys. Hopefully I can crank another one out in record time. This has been Miracle. Remember to always believe as you please. Thank you for your time.